Hello everyone, this is Dice, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on scanning images into Photoshop from your printer. At least in my case, my printer, or just your scanner. Um, nowadays, though, it's usually a three-in-one thing, where you have the printer, scanner, and copier. Sorry if my voice sounds a little off, but um, <coughs> anyways. First, you want to put the picture you're scanning into your printer. Make sure it's closed as best you can. Um, if it ends up upside down or something, that's okay. You can just resize or rotate it later on. So file, import, and there's PDF image, WIA support, annotations, and mine says Canon MP3 one, I mean MP160. This will be whatever the name of your printer is, so yours might not even say this. Yours could say Lexer or whatever it is called. And if you wait a while, you should get a window that pops up that looks exactly like this. You get magazine color, newspaper, black and white, document grayscale, photo color. I always go with this one so I get everything that's in it because sometimes I have, I actually use colors for my drawings. And output size flexible, you can change the size of it to do whatever you want. Advanced mode is just a bunch of, it's normally all to do with size of it or the colors obviously. And you can scan multiple things. So first, you can either click the preview to see what it'll look like. And this is what mine is coming out like. This would be the point where you can decide which areas you want scanned. And you can see my image is also upside down. So then if that's all you want, scan. It's cropping out everything else too at the same time, so I don't have to do that myself. and then it automatically opens up this way and you can double click it because it will automatically be as a JPEG so you can't really edit it then go to edit transform if it's not and if it was upside down rotate 180 from the transform button should fix it and the only other thing you may want to do is resize it because this is what it looks like 100% But this is how you would scan an image into it. If you wanted to maybe save an, a photo or draw, outline your drawing or color it in Photoshop. So I hope this tutorial helped everybody out. And that's all.